modern church, the way we're looking at Scripture, the way we worship, what instruments are allowed? Can we? Some, some churches you have too much fun. You know, too much fun. I've been in churches with put in large font in the bulletin that when you step through those doors right there, you're not to smile, you're not to talk, you're not to joke. I've had as recently as a church or two prior to this one. We can't talk. We can't have fun. Well, pish posh. Religion, church, is about introducing a person, if you will, to God. The leading a person to a relationship with God. That was Jesus' ministry. Then Jesus gave that ministry to us. To lead others to God. We do it not so much by saying, you need God, Ken. You need God. After the first couple of times, Ken said, I don't like the tone of his voice. I'm not coming back. And who does he think he is? But if in front of Ken and others, we live out our life and we help people, we're about helping the poor and downtrodden. We're about helping those others without pushing the envelope about you're no good, you don't dress right, you don't smell good. But simply to say, this is God. This is God operating in my life. It's what's on the inside. It's offering God that way. Not to ritualize, but inviting in that began to make a life difference and change. I had a friend um, in, uh, I think it was my, my second church, a doc, by the way, in my life, I've always been scared to death of doctors because they're not human, you know that. Doc, doctors are not human. And you can't have a relationship with a doctor. You really can't. Because they're not like us, you see. So I went to that church and suddenly it was this family who befriended us, happened to be the doctor and his wife, and they had several kids. In fact, they said, we'll be babysit for you. I couldn't believe it. So they babysit. But one night they invited us over to dinner. I couldn't believe it. And sitting down at the table, his wife got on his case. Well, not in the church as much as he should, number one. Number two, why is he always late for dinner? You can talk. And by the way, you're not picking up stuff in the bedroom. And suddenly he became my new best friend. <laughs> He's just like me. You see, well, they became good friends of mine. They had five kids. Came to town every Sunday, and there was the wife and the five kids. But Doc Cecil was not there. Of course, about the fifth or sixth Sunday, the doc would show up. And our friend, another friend, would come over and say, Where have you been? What a sin it is to send your kids to church without a father. Who do you think you are? Do you think Dr. Cecil was there the next week? She had no clue. She wasn't showing him God. She was putting him down. It wasn't too long after that my daughter was ill on a Sunday morning. I got to the hospital at 4.30 in the morning. Who was there? Dr. Cecil. Taking care of people. Administering the medicines and giving me a kind word. I was glad he was there when I arrived. I felt comforted immediately knowing that my child would be cared for. And after that, every time I saw that few empty, I said, he's on the job. And the next time he comes to church, instead of saying, where have you been? We would say, so glad to see you today. We're so glad. Isn't it a difference? It's what comes out the mouth of a person that talks about who they are, not what they say. What comes out? What do what they say about their life and their faith in God? That's why Jesus was so adamant about being born again. You see, in my first birth, I can only speak for myself, in my first birth, in the culture that we live in, what do we get? A daily digest, sometimes of, of, of frightful stuff, of prejudices, of anger, of images that were kind of put upon, and sometimes they're not of God. And so if one is born again, if you will, to receive Christ in Christ's way, to again help to turn all those little lights on inside of my darkened soul, to help me see life as it is, to clean that room up. I have a lot of rooms that need to be cleaned up. If you know me, you know that to be true. Uh, but that's really what faith is. No one pushed it on me. It was God. It was someone inter introducing me to God. It was someone doing God's work, and I saw that, and I was amazed at that. And all they said was, is I'm trying to do what God would have me do. That's it. 
So it's what's on the inside of the count, not on the outside. And that's what we pay so much attention to. That's, that, that's where we put the most emphasis. We put people down or, or, or we're better than other people. When on the inside we're all the same, at least we're supposed to be. And it's that's supposed to count. A good heart. A good mind. That's where God ought to reside. Jesus said it. I believe. Receive. Faith. Let us pray. Lord, some of us, maybe most of us, like this ritual thing because we can keep you away from the inside. We come, we worship a bit, and we go home. Never have we allowed you on the inside of our life to begin to transform us. We, we know, Lord, we, we, we know where we need to work on ourselves. Our own pride, our own prejudice, our own thoughts, and people that we don't like. Lord, come on the inside of us. For it's on the inside that, that makes a huge statement about a woman or a man. How they live out their life. The goodness that they do, not because they have to. It's the goodness because the goodness has been given to them. And when all those lights are on, man, oh man, we begin to operate for them different perspective. Lord, be with each and every person here. Be with our family. That we may be able to be the very one as we live out our lives to show them God. To show them what God is like. For you see, God, we still say, don't often believe, that we have been created in your image. Not male. But in your image of grace and love and joy and hope and forgiveness of, of camaraderie, of caring. That is the image that's really in us. So help us, oh God, to continue to fight the good fight and become more than we are, better than we are, as we come to serve the world. And in it, we will show the world a loving, caring God. All this we pray. Amen.